Hi guys, today's video is going to be really quick. I'm just going to do a no makeup makeup look. I'm just going out for a walk for my best friend's birthday, so I don't want to be wearing too much makeup because it is on the warm side today. So I'm mixing my Arbonne Calm Daily Moisturizer with the tiny amount of um, liquid foundation from Arbonne that I have left. It's really handy to be able to make your own tinted moisturizer. I find the Arbonne foundation works so well for this because it's a really light formula. It's very, it's really buildable. So if you want a really light finish, you can easily get it by just mixing it with your moisturizer. And I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. And I'm not gonna do like I usually do where I'll do like a big triangle on my cheek. I'm really just gonna focus on hiding the darkness in my inner corners. And I'm going to use my uh, makeup sponge to blend that in a little bit. I'm also just going to throw a little bit of concealer on um, these um, acne scars that I have here. I'm not worrying about covering those up too much because they're not too bad. They're really just super faint. I just want them to look a little bit less red. And I'm going to do my eyebrows using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in medium to dark. This is just to make my eyebrows appear a little bit thicker with, without having to actually draw them in. And I usually do get like little blobs of <laughs> the product like around my eyebrows, so I just clean those up with a Q-tip when they're done. And I have a bald spot in my, um, in my eyebrow here, so I just move the hairs so that they cover it. Now I'm going to line my eyes using Maybelline Color Show Coal Liner in... Why are the names hard to find on here? Barely beige. This is a really easy, quick trick that just makes your eyes look a little bit more awake. It's also really great if you're hungover. And I'm going to curl my lashes, but since I only have black mascara, I'm actually just going to repurpose that brow plumper and apply that just really, really lightly on my eyelashes. I find brown looks a lot more natural on uh, paler skin tones if you're looking, if you're going for like a no makeup kind of look. I often just curl my eyelashes when I'm wanting my eyes to be a little bit more awake um, and I'm too lazy to put on mascara. <laughs> Let's see how this works as a mascara. It's definitely much more natural than a black mascara, which is what we're going for. And the brush is similar to a lot of lower lash mascaras that I've seen. It's pretty cool. It actually looks really good. I like the fluttery kind of like natural thick look it gives my eyelashes. I'm just going to use a little bit of MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle uh, just to highlight a little tiny bit around my inner corners and brow bone. And I'm going to use my Eco Tools brush just to get a little bit of that on my cheekbones. And a little bit on the tip of my nose. Just 
because I love that. Maybe a little bit on my cupids though. And a little bit of MAC Spring Sheen on the cheeks. Really just the tiniest little bit, just to brighten up the face a little bit. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of this um, Anthropology Cherry Flush. I don't know what the actual product is called. It's like this little blush stick, but I'm going to use it as lipstick really, really lightly. And get it on my finger first. And I'm gonna leave my hair natural and messy too, because it just kind of all goes together. Um, so that's it. Uh, this is really simple and really quick, especially when you're not explaining everything you're doing to a camera. <laughs> um, this is something I've been wearing. A different version of really often lately and I just love feeling just like fresh and pretty and natural looking so um, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye